Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Meredith and today I have another spoiler video for you. So this is going to be the spoilers regarding the refills program for the summer 2021 box. Um, so I have quite a few tabs open so I hope this isn't too long. So to do that I'll just kind of show you the pertinent information and then you can pause the video. I won't read everything this time, I apologize, but there's just too many products to go through. Um, so what refills is is a pretty new program. It's only been around for a couple of boxes now and you get access to um, receiving refills basically every season for certain products at a discount. Um, so they did add quite a few new products this season and then they are continuing the previous season's um, options as well. Um, it is only available for FAFIFUN members, so if you are not yet a member, you might want to consider looking at my video where I went through the full spoilers for you. Um, I also did additional research and I reached out to various different brands, customer service to get additional information about questions I personally had. And then um, I also provided you things about the sizes, care instructions, and everything like that in that video. So I would like to recommend that you check that out. Um, and then also, if you have not yet joined FabFitFun, I do have a personal referral link below, and that will get you $10 off your first box, and I get a small credit towards a future purchase. So um, just so you know, there are quite a few tabs open, and I think there are a couple of products in here that I think they may have had a slight typo with. Um, so I did pull up what I think is the correct option based on the photos, but again, I'm not 100% certain on those. So I apologize in advance, and I will draw your attention to those. Um, so I'll just show you the pictures here um, just to show you them because they do have it broken down a little bit more um, differently than they do in the description, but I will be going through each of the products in the description in that order. Um, so the body wash, they have the Trio Body Buffers, and those will be the Spongeles, and the three scents are going to be Eucalyptus Rain, Honey Blossom, and pa Papaya Yuzu. And then there is the Ahava Mineral Body Gel, so I think this might be one that is a typo, um, because if you see here, it's... Um, it says mineral body gel, but on here, I don't even know if you can see it because I can barely see it myself. It says mineral shower gel. So I did do a search for mineral body gel and I wasn't able to find anything as you'll see. Um, so I do think it will be the shower gel, but I'm not 100% certain. And the next thing here is Grown Alchemist Body Cleanser. And again, I will have a little bit of note about that in a little bit as well. The next things are the body lotion, and those are the Wish Lavender Body Oil, the Ahava Mineral Body Lotion, and the Grown Alchemist Body Cream. Um, also another note about those two. And then these are all of the products are available in refills, which is an exclusive perk just for members. So let me just go back to the pretty photo here. Um, so I'm going to basically go through the newest ones in here first, and then I'll let you know when I'm going to be changing to these continued ones, just so that if you are already a member and you're already aware of what these products are, you can just X out of the video at that time. Um, so the first thing here is the Spongeles, that trio. Um, so Eucalyptus Rain, I was not able to find in the picture here. Um, so it's like a circle one, but I was only able to find the um, flower ones. Let me just open that. Um, so you can see this, it is a different size and there's also more uses in the flower one. The, the smaller circle ones that I'm able to find in the other two cents do make mention of how many uses they are. So I'm just gonna show you here what the description is. Um, so it says, smells like bundles of stimulating eucalyptus and cashmere woods. Um, feels like a heavenly rain shower designed to hit all the senses and the fragrance notes are the top is the green citrus tangerine grapefruit tonic um, the middle is lotus flower jasmine dewy lavender and the d i don't know what d is deep um, leave a comment below is sheer moss musk and cashmere woods um, so the other two scents are the Honey Blossom. So again, this is the spongette size, which is the circle one, which I believe is going to be the one in the programs based on the photos. And this is the travel size. And let me scroll down here. Um, the fragrance notes are musk and aldehyde as the top notes. The M is the lavender and the B, which is bottom, I'm guessing, is a powdery notes and cream of vanilla. These are the benefits. So again, this one has five plus uses. 
And then this is the key ingredients. I don't remember if I showed you the key ingredients for the eucalyptus, so let me pull those over for you. And these are the key ingredients for that eucalyptus rain one. And then finally, this is the papaya. Um, so these are the key ingredients for you. Um, before it wasn't opening, so I had to refresh the screen. And again, this is the fragrance notes for the papaya yuzu. It says top melange of the fruity notes. Middle is floral notes of cyclamen and bois de rose. And bottom is the sweet sugary caramel. So I'm going to move on to the Ahava. So it says mineral body gel and mineral body lotion. Um, so I did do a search here for the mineral body gel and I wasn't able to find anything. Um, so that's why I think it is the shower gel because this is the same photo as they used in that image. Um, it is sold out so I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this is what the texture looks like for you. And it says it cleans and hydrates the skin with aloe vera extract and skin smoothing conditioners. The scent is aromatic pomegranate and cherry blossom. Awesome. is vegan and paraben free and then the key benefits are moisturizing purifying and smoothing and it's hypoallergenic vegan and paraben free and it's basically just a shower gel and then these are the ingredients for you as well it does have fragrance um, that is added the next product here is Mineral Body Lotion, and this says it's an absorbent cream that quickly nourishes dry skin. It's made with nutrient-rich dead sea water and helps maintain healthy, hydrated skin that lasts all day. This is the texture. And then it says it absorbs quickly without feeling greasy or sticky and is made with nutrient-rich dead sea water, aloe vera, and smoothing witch hazel. And it's hydrating, moisturizing, softening, and it's hypoallergenic, paraben-free, and vegan. It is a body lotion, so that's how you use it. And here are the ingredients for you. This one has fragrance and is actually quite high on the list. So again, I don't know the actual concentrations, but just noting where it does fall in the list. The next thing here is the Grown Alchemist Body Cleanser and Body Cream in Mandarin and Rosemary Leaf. So I did pull up both of those. So this is the Body Cream in Mandarin and Rosemary Leaf and this is the information. These are the bioactives. The directions, again, body lotion. And here is the full ingredients list for you. And then let me just scroll through to bring you a little bit more information. Um, this is the texture and the color of the lotion or the body cream. So the one thing I did want to bring up is that for the body cleanser, I was not able to find it in that mandarin and whatever the other scent is, the mandarin and rosemary leaf. I was not able to find a body cleanser on the Grown Alchemist website in that scent. Um, the only body cleanser I was able to find is in chamomile, bergamot, and rose. Um, so again, I'm not 100% sure if this will be the correct um, option. Also, the image was very small, and the writing in here is very small, so I wasn't able to confirm what the photo was. Um, but I'll just show you this. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure that this might, will be the option. And then these are the full ingredients for you. Um, there are quite a few oils in here, so definitely take a closer look. And also, um, again, take a closer look at the body cream as well. The next products on here are the Wish Beauty Lavender Body Oil. And this will be the last one that is new. Um, so I did find it. It is quite expensive. It's $96, which is very pricey in my opinion. Um, so here it says it features an intensely moisturizing formula. It absorbs quickly and leaves skin silky smooth. It increases skin luminance and it is filled with clinically proven peptides to reduce appearance of fine lines and wrinkles in calm inflamed skin. Um, the moisturizers are the sesame seed oil and the sunflower seed oil. Soothers are the olive leaf extract and a jojoba seed oil, and the skin luminance ingredients is a proprietary blend of peptides. Um, it is made with naturally sourced and organic materials, as Leaping Bunny certified, and is free of harmful chemicals. 
And then this is the full ingredients list for you. Um, so it does have added fragrance in here if you're keeping track of that, but otherwise there are quite a few other oils and things that you may need to take a closer look at. So now I'm going to go to the continuing program of products. Sorry, that was the last one I copied and pasted. Um, so this is the first one here is the Pores No More Pore Purifying Cleanser, the Recovery Serum, and the DNA Time Defying Cream from Dr. Brandt. So I did pull up all of those for you. So this is the Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. Um, and then this one here is the texture. Um, it uses AM and or PM. Keep scrolling down. Apply a thin layer. Um, massage until beads break fully and leave on for 5 to 10 minutes until dry and then rinse with warm water and pat dry. Use 2 to 3 times per week. Keep scrolling down. It is dermatologist tested and hypoallergenic for oily and combination skin. Results to expect are purify and unclog pores, absorb excess oils, exfoliate skin. It is fragrance free. Here is the ingredients list. So the top ones here are the actives and this is the full ingredients list. Um, I do not see any added fragrance but that does have lavender oil. And the ingredients are, I mean, the reviews are quite high, um, but this is, of course, their website. So we will, I'm not entirely sure if they have been blocking reviews and sort of thing. The next thing here is that Speed Recovery Serum. It has a $110 value. Again, I don't know if that size is the correct one. The application time is AM and PM. And then here... Delivers instant and intense hydration deep into the skin, leaves skin feeling with, sorry, leave leaving skin with a fresh, instant, dewy glow, suitable for all skin types, even oily. This one is also fragrance free. Um, and let's see here, the consistency is water-like. And then keep scrolling down. Moisturizes, minimizes lines and wrinkles, protects against oxidative stressors. Keep scrolling. Up again, here is the ingredients list. Again, these are the actives, the meadow foam seed oil, sugar beet extract, and peptides, and the full ingredients list here. And fragrance, added fragrance is very much at the bottom of the list. This is the Do Not Age. Um, so this is the time defying cream. Let's keep scrolling down, AM and PM use. Powered by a skin transforming system, Juvenescence Complex. The wrinkle smoothing cream works in sync with your skin's internal clock and melts at skin's temperature to help promote more supple, youthful looking skin. Keep scrolling down. Anti-wrinkle smoothing cream. Um, and then here is the full list. Here it says it's hypoallergenic. Ophthalmologist tested, paraben free, sulfate free, phthalate free, fragrance free, GMO free, aluminum free, mineral oil free. It is a rich cream and again scent is fragrance free. And here is the results to expect. The ingredients list here and the three actives are the Juvenescence Plus Complex, the, the Biomimetric Tri-Amino Acid Peptides, and Flax Seed Extract. And then these are the full ingredients for you. Um, I see a couple of oils, but I don't see any um, added fragrance. The next product on the list is from Rodeo. It is the Pink Diamond Cleansing Balm. Oh, sorry, I completely missed here. Grown Alchemist a Gentle Gel Cleanser, Brightening Serum, and Matte Balancing Moisturizer. Um, so again, went to the Grown Alchemist website. Um, this is the gentle gel facial cleanser that I was able to find on their website. So this one says it's geranium leaf, bergamot, and rosebud. So again, I'm not 100% sure if this is the actual one that will be in the program. This is just what I was able to find. So these are the bioactive ingredient results, the directions for use, 
and the ingredients list again quite a few oils and things like that um, so definitely take a closer look here if you have any sensitivities this is the brightening serum so it's the phyto complex rumex leaf extract um, i think i remember looking through this earlier so i think this might be the correct one from last season that i read um, so it noticeably lightens and brightens facial skin targeting hyperpigmentation uneven skin tone and age spots these are the active ingredients sorry the bioactive ingredients directions for use and the ingredients list for you. Um, there are quite a few extracts in here, so definitely take a closer look if you are sensitive. This is the Matte Balancing Cleanser, or sorry, Moisturizer. Um, it has acai berry and borago. Um, so again, I recall looking at this last season, so I believe this is the correct product. It says a lightweight moisturizer that hydrates facial skin while balancing the skin's oil levels, leaving skin with a matte finish with increased clarity. These are the bioactive ingredients. These are the directions for use, EM and or PM use. It is for normal and um, to combination skin types. And the ingredients list for you. Um, again, quite a few oils and things in here, so you will need to take a closer look if you have any sensitivities. The next product is what I kind of spoiled earlier, the Rodeal Pink Diamond Cleansing Balm. Um, so let me pull that open. Um, so I actually went to a different website than the Rodeal website because they were obviously um, blocking anything less than a five-star review on there. There was It was a five-star review with only seven ratings. Um, this one actually only has 24 ratings, but it does have a 4.2-star review. So this is from Space NK. I think I recall from last time this was a pretty new product, so that would make sense here. Um, so it says, remove the cares of the day. Um, it's a luxurious cleansing balm that gently eliminates makeup, dirt, and impurities to leave skin clean, conditioned, and radiant. It contains a blend of natural oils, vitamin E, and soft focus diamond powder that work together to hydrate, repair, and nourish the skin. The fine diamond particles reflect light for a visibly brighter complexion as rice germ oil and sweet almond oil replenish and defend. The balm also contributes towards the reduced appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. Keep scrolling down. Here are the ingredients for you. It does have carmine in it, so I believe this will not be a vegan product. Here is how to apply. And that is the information for you. And let me keep moving on. I'm sorry, too many tabs. The next product is from Black. They are dual-sided wipes. This one, again, I went to another website. I went to Amazon because it had the most reviews. Um, so this is the Black Activated Charcoal Face Wipes, Dual-Sided Charcoal Facial Cleansing Wipes, Great as Makeup Remover Wipes, Detoxifying Face Wipes, Deep Pore Cleanser Facial Wipes, 25 count. Um, so here is the information um, that I was able to find. It's activated charcoal, safe on skin, and cruelty-free and Let's see here. The ingredients are right there for you. Um, and let's see. I do not see any added fragrance. Oh, I do see added fragrance. Um, I hope it'll be in focus here. Um, Parfum is right there. But let me see if I can do this really slowly for you so you can read the list. Um, it does have a... What is this? A 4.4 out of 5 star rating with 103 ratings. And let me just keep scrolling down. Maybe there's some additional information. Oh, here is a better review of the ingredients list for you. How to use peel back tab and remove wipe. Um, basically, it's just a facial cleansing wipe. And that's a very awkward photo to um, stop on. Sorry about that. Um, it removes surface level makeup, activate charcoal, draws out dead skin cells, exfoliating glycolic acid, alpha hydroxy acid to cleanse. 
And that is the information. This one is also Australian, which is maybe interesting to some. The next item in here is the Kate Somerville Skincare Squalene Serum. Um, so this one I'm not entirely sure if I found the correct product because there was no hint on the photos um, whether or not this is it because it's a returning product, but I think this might be the right product. Um, this is the KX Active Concentrate Squalane and Hyaluronic Serum. It was the only product I was able to find both on the Kate Somerville website and Ulta and Sephora as well that had squalane in the name and serum. So I think maybe this might be correct. This did not have very high reviews if I'm being honest. So let me scroll down to show you more. It hydrates, plumps, and replenishes skin. Um, apply to your... Or sorry, add to your skin regimen for su visibly subtle, supple, dewy, and luminous results. Improves the appearance of dullness, dryness, dehydration, skin suppleness, and bounce. And let's just keep scrolling down. How to use, apply AM and PM, put one to two drops to cleansed skin. The ingredients list is here for you. Um, I don't think I see any added fragrance or anything like that, um, but you may want to take a closer look in there. Um, let's just scroll down. Yeah, as I recalled, I thought it was a 3.1, but it's a 3.2 star rating, but only five reviews. Um, this first one here does not sound promising. It says average at most. Um, so take that with a grain of salt, I guess. If you have used the product, let us know below. The next product is from Karen G. It's a retinol renewing serum with Pro Verte Complex. So let me open that one. We're almost there at the end. So again, I went to Amazon because this had the most reviews. It had a 12 ratings and a 4.4 star rating overall. Keep scrolling down and you can read this at your leisure. Helps renew skin without redness and irritation. Helps visibly reduce wrinkles and aging signs. No additives um, and harmful ingredients. No parabens, petroleum, phthalates, tea, GMO, or gluten. Helps erase your facial skin's fine lines and wrinkles. Helps reduce the appearance of pores. Helps even your skin tone and complexion. Helps renew and re Pair your skin helps reactivate collagen and elastin production, helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it has echinacea, um, Indian gentian leaves, and licorice. And this is about Dr. Karen Grossman. Keep scrolling down for you. 90% nature, 10% science. Let's see, it looks like they contribute to... Um, planting trees with each purchase. Um, so this is the serum, so it looks like it should be here, right? Yes, this is the renewing serum at step two. Um, so it says combine watermelon rind extract, lentil extract, and apple extract for visibly smoother, firmer, more even looking skin. Keep scrolling down. Hopefully they have the ingredients here for us. Um, so it looks like they did not put the list on here, um, but this person is buying it through FabFitFun for 60% off. Proverte Complex, Retinol and Chemspheres, P Refinal, Aquacell, Licorice Extract, Coconut Oil, Ceramide 3, Lentil Seed Extract. Um, so thank you to this individual for helping us all out with the ingredients. Um, and then finally, the last product is the Paracone MD High Potency Classics, the Face Finishing and Firming Moisturizer. And then let me just find that. And the final note here says all products are available between 55 to 78% off the original price. Um, so I did go to Sephora again for the same reason because it had the most reviews and it wasn't all five star reviews. Um, this is going to be the texture and then this looks like it did have a labeling change or design change rather um, So just so you know what it is in case you know the old products So let me scroll down 
Best for a dry combo, normal skin, good for dryness, good for anti-aging, good for loss of firmness. And then let's see, it's good for normal combination dry sensitive skin. It's a luxurious rose scented anti-aging moisturizer for a hydrated, smooth, and luminous complexion. Um, so I do recall from the, I think it was the winter box, people did say the rose scent for that moisturizer in that box was heavily rose scented. Um, so I don't know what this particular one smells like, but just letting you know that that was what people had said. It's for dryness, dullness, fine lines, and wrinkles formulated without paraben sulfates and phthalates keep scrolling down these are the ingredients for you alpha lipoic acid dmae and vitamin c ester and then here are the full ingredients and i do not see any information here it has to okay here is the fragrance so it is like in the middle of the list again i don't know the actual concentrations but just letting you know where i see it and here is the how to use use in morning and evening and then it says definitely patch test it so those are all of the um, options in the refills program. If you have used the refills program in the past, if you could leave a comment below what you think of the program um, and if it was easy to skip or something like that, because I think personally some of these products, I don't think I would need to refill every season, um, especially because I am a little bit on product overload, especially with how skincare heavy most of the boxes I receive are. Um, but I have not personally tried the refills yet, so I'm very curious to know what your experiences are. Um, so thank you again so much for watching, and if you have not yet seen my spoiler video, please take a look. Also, I have a quite a few other videos that are coming out this week, um, so I hope you will stick around to take a look at those. Thank you again, and have a great day. Bye.